60 years ago, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite, and transformed the world. A new generation of scientists and engineers was being inspired by the dawn of the space age, which forced nations to reconsider their technical education policies. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, unveiled his ambitious proposal for creating a human settlement on Mars in what is arguably the most anxiously awaited aerospace revelation of the year. The idea of colonizing the Red Planet under the direction of a private organization has also been floated. Why, then, does Elon Musk garner so much interest? How realistic are his ideas, too? Watch this video to the end to find out. Mars has an average temperature of negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The surface of Mars is rough and dotted with canyons and volcanoes. In addition, the planet's gravity is about one-third that of Earth's, and its atmosphere is too thin for people to breathe. In 2020, Musk declared his intention to construct 1,000 starships over 10 years and to ferry 1 million people to Mars by the year 2050. Also, according to him, the first person to set foot on Mars could do it around 2029. In this video, we will discuss Elon Musk's plans to colonize Mars. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more stuff before we continue. Click the bell icon to sign up for new video alerts. Have you already executed it? Let us move on. It would enable humanity to become a multi-planet species, support a million people, and be self-sustaining. It's likely Musk's most audacious objective, and it might keep him busy for the next three decades. What is the purpose of this? At the business's February 2022 Starship Development Update, Musk noted, There is always a potential that anything could go wrong on Earth, so I believe this is extremely vital for the continuation of life itself. There are no longer any dinosaurs. Musk also described how the concept is intended to create something inspiring while being only an insurance policy. Life cannot only be about resolving issues, according to Musk, there must be things that move your heart and inspire you. You feel optimistic about the future when you first wake up. However, Musk said on his Twitter page that an image of astronauts on the Red Planet would come to life sometime in 2029. Originally, fans had anticipated that the first humans would reach Mars by the middle of the 2020s. Additionally, a recent study shows that Mars' terrain is quite hazardous. The unexpected challenges that astronauts must overcome include solar panel dust buildup and microscopic Martian rocks that cause problems for NASA's Curiosity Project. When did Musk have the imagination of a Mars city? It's difficult to pinpoint the exact moment when he came to believe that man's fate in the cosmos was his personal obligation. Nonetheless, Astley Vance's 2015 biography states that this realization occurred around the middle of his teenage years. Science fiction books like Douglas Adams's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy inspired him. Terence Benny, a classmate of Musk, is also mentioned in the book. Benny asserts that Musk had already considered colonizing distant worlds while he was young. Musk went to a gathering of the nonprofit Mars Society organization in 2001. Musk learned about the group's ambitions to send mice into orbit to motivate people while attending the event. Musk began thinking about the possibility of sending them to Mars instead, which eventually inspired him to launch SpaceX. In 2007, before SpaceX had even sent its first rocket into orbit, Musk predicted to Wired that a base would exist on the Moon and Mars in 30 years. The concept took on a new shape when he spoke about his ambition to turn humanity into a multi-planet species in 2016 at the International Astronautical Congress. How is Elon Musk going to establish a city on Mars? The Starship is the core of the strategy. SpaceX can fly people and goods to Mars thanks to this entirely reusable rocket currently being developed in Texas. Over 100 tons or 100 people can be sent into space by the spacecraft. Explorers can fly to Mars, refuel using resources there, and then fly back to Earth thanks to the spacecraft's use of liquid oxygen and methane as fuel instead of the rocket propellant used by the Falcon 9. Even further into space, the astronauts may travel while constructing a network of recharging stations connecting to several planets. The company's main objective is to launch the ship from the Starbase facility in Texas. But Musk has said that should there be too many delays, the team is also geared up to launch from Cape Canaveral in Florida. The intended expansion of Starbase might have been postponed due to this backup plan. DeGrasse added, In space, you don't need to fight a war. 
go to another asteroid and grab your resources. Recent visits to Mars have shown Musk may be right about the planet's hazards, even though commercials likely never existed. The United Arab Emirates hosted Hope Mars mission, experienced a dust storm in December 2021. It moved swiftly across the vast expanse, passing over the crater hosting the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity chopper of NASA. Up until January 14th, the storm persisted. The incidents demonstrated how, especially when compared to the weather on Earth, the weather on Mars may be quite harsh. Solar panels may become less effective when blown over by dust storms, depriving a space station of essential power. The astronauts will encounter other difficulties besides dust. According to NASA, the Curiosity rover had to abandon its planned excursion path in April 2022 because it contained vent effects and sharp rocks that could harm the rover's wheels. The name of the mountain Curiosity was attempting to climb. Mount Sharp may be very appropriate. How much will a spaceship to the Mars city cost? In 2019, Musk asserted that the price of a round-trip ticket might start at around $500,000 before falling to $100,000 over time. Musk aimed to have American homes median price for ticket prices for his flights in 2016. That would imply that someone may sell their home and relocate to Mars. A personal loan was Musk's alternative recommendation. Visitors would repay the debt by finding employment to address the city's labor shortfall. It's a concept similar to company towns in 19th century America, where workers resided in a community that belonged to their businesses. Mars may have a few local work options, especially in the early going, and you will need to pay back that debt so you can take your voyage. In a May 2019 interview with Inverse, Gunter Lang, an economics professor at the Kuna Logistics University in Germany, called into question this strategy. After all, why would you forego that luxury if you were wealthy enough to travel? When will SpaceX construct a city on Mars? Two cargo ships might be sent to Mars as early as 2022. According to an aspirational proposal Musk presented in 2017, then in 2024, it would deploy two crewed ships and two cargo ships for the subsequent closest approach. However, Musk said on Twitter in March 2022 that 2029 would be a more plausible year for humanity to see the first humans land on Mars. However, it's also plausible that Musk was alluding to the 1969 moon landing, which would put a gap of about 60 years between the two achievements. Every 26 months or so, Mars and Earth are rather close. At this point, the separation between the two is approximately 33.9 million miles. It's possible to create a self-sustaining city on Mars by 2050 if we start in five years and take 10 orbital synchronizations, Musk stated on Twitter in March 2019. Building the city would take at least 22 years if synchronizations occurred every 26 months. By 2050, Musk wants a self-sustaining Mars city with 1 million inhabitants. That year, Musk would become 79 years old. It appears doubtful that SpaceX will launch the first cargo ships this year, given that it has yet to conduct its first orbital mission with the Starship. Musk may succeed better if SpaceX changes its ambitions to target a more attainable time frame in the late 2020s. The plan Elon Musk has is about as bold as they come. Musk and his business SpaceX want to populate Mars quickly because they are unsatisfied with living on our small blue planet. They promise to send two supply ships to the red planet within five years. They plan to send the first humans by 2024. They see establishing a spaceport, a city, and ultimately geoengineering a planet to be as hospitable as a second Earth from there. Musk has the potential to fundamentally alter how we view the solar system if he's successful and, in the process, inspire a new generation of scientists and engineers. However, before they can succeed, Musk and SpaceX must navigate a risky environment that is incredibly complicated. Most of them will be technical. No prizes for guessing what the codename BFR stands for. The rocket that will transport Musk's colonists to Mars has not even been constructed yet. People can only predict what obstacles will be revealed after testing gets underway. Musk does have a history of successfully resolving challenging engineering issues, so there is a good probability that SpaceX will succeed despite the enormous technical obstacles it must overcome. As a risk innovation expert, I am still determining how SpaceX will tackle some less obvious social and political challenges they encounter. Here are some challenges Elon Musk should put on his mission to Mars checklist to give him a head start. Today's video has come to an end. 
If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. Remember to click the bell icon to get alerts when new videos are posted. I will see you in the upcoming video. Bye for now.